welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming something very random but kind of exciting and it is going to be a viral food hacks from TikTok. Now I'm a little bit late to the bandwagon. I didn't get TikTok until probably like a month ago like when this whole isolation thing happened and I've been obsessed ever since even though I slightly judge those who had downloaded it before me. But now I'm obsessed. So I've seen quite a few little like food hacks and other random videos like that on the app and I thought today I would film a like a healthier food hack for you guys. I saw Whitney Simmons do this as well so I'll link her video down below. I'm actually going to be doing a few of those recipes. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. So we've got buffalo cauliflower, sour patch grapes, um, Oreo mug cake, four ingredient choc chip cookies, and also little mini zucchini pizzas. So I'm really excited to eat all of this. <laughs> And I'm really excited to make all of this. So if you guys are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit subscribe and like the video. And let's get onto it. So the first thing I'm going to do is make the buffalo cauliflower. Um, I'm just following a girl called Gabby Demova. I think that's how you pronounce her name. I saw her make this on TikTok and I'm going to follow her instructions on it. So I have my cauliflower here all chopped up. I just bought half a cauliflower because it's all I could find. And then she says to do three quarters of a cup of flour. So I'm assuming she just means plain flour, but I reckon you could probably do any like buckwheat flour, oat flour. I'm assuming it would all work. But three quarters of a cup. I'm going to do half a cup because I don't have as much cauliflower as her. And then teaspoon of garlic powder, paprika, salt and pepper. So I've got all of that. I'm not really going to measure it, I'm just going to go to town. Because honestly, can you ever have too much flavour? Look at Oreo. Uh -huh. Whoa, that was a lot of garlic. Um, salt and pepper. And then the last step is to add one cup of milk. So again, I'm just going to use like a half a cup to three quarters of a cup because I didn't put as much flour. I should also mention, probably preheat your oven during this step. So, so to about 180 degrees and then you just want to mix the flour and the milk all together to create like a batter. So you kind of want it to be liquidy. At the moment, mine's like thick. So I'm just going to keep adding in splashes of water. That's not water, that's milk. So once you've got the consistency right, and it's a bit like liquidy, but you're just going to dip every little thing of cauliflower into the mixture and then place it on a lined baking tray, either with like um, baking paper or foil, whatever tickles your fancy. But you're just going to coat every single one and then you're going to pop it in the oven for 20 minutes and I'll show you guys what to do next. So I've just placed that in the oven for 20 minutes and now we're going to make the next like layer I guess you could say. So I'm using this Red Hot Wings Buffalo Sauce. A. I don't like hot food, I'm such a chicken with spice so this shall be interesting. And B. I've never actually had buffalo sauce, whatever that may be, but I feel like it's an American thing so I don't like the smell of that. <laughs> but I'm just going to tip a little bit in a bowl. And then also a little drop of olive oil. Just like a little pop. And we're going to stir that up. And then when the cauliflower is done for that 20 minutes, we're going to coat it. And then put it back in the oven for another 20 minutes. So yeah, it's as simple as that. I'll show you guys when the cauliflower is done. But at the moment, I'm going to do the second thing, which is zucchini pizzas. So I've got one zucchini, some pizza sauce, and some light shredded cheese. So all you have to do is cut the zucchini lengthways into like little circles like that. And then you're going to squirt pizza sauce on them and put a little bit of cheese. That was like salt bay. Um, and yeah, and then we're going to put that in the oven for 20 minutes as well, or until the cheese has melted.
All right, so now we're gonna do the last three recipes, which are all sweet because I am more of a sweet gal than a savory gal. And the first thing I'm gonna do is make some chocolate chip cookies. Um, these are actually in my recipe ebook. This is kind of how I make my cookies in general. But I did see a peanut butter cookie recipe on TikTok, which was I think a cup of peanut butter, one cup of sugar, and two eggs, and that's all they put in it. So instead, I'm going to also add in chopped chips, just because who doesn't love peanut butter and chocolate cookies? And to make it just that little bit healthier, I'm using almond butter, but you can also use peanut butter, just whatever you have on hand. And I'm going to use this um, natural sweetener by the brand Natvia. So it's basically like a zero calorie um, sweetener. It does have some calories, but it's like really, really limited. So we're gonna do the sweetener first. And I believe it was a cup. I'm just going to do half the measurements because I don't want to make too many. So I'm going to do half a cup of sweetener. That is so much sugar. Wow. Um, but that's the best thing about adding the sugar is that you don't need any other ingredients because you already have the sweetness. So then we're going to stir the almond butter because a lot of the time the fat goes to the top. So you want to make sure it's stirred well and another little hack for you guys tip your peanut butter and um, almond butter jars upside down when you put them in the pantry because it helps the like the fat go to the other end that you're not using if that makes sense there's nothing worse when you get to the bottom of a nut butter jar and it's like all super dry and you can't really use it anymore so yeah that's a hack stir your nut butters I mean <laughs> place your nut butters upside down Seriously getting super hot in my kitchen right now with that oven. The oven has been on for like a good hour and a half. <laughs> and it's going to continue to be on for these recipes. But anyway. And the next ingredient is an egg. So essentially these are four ingredient chocolate chip cookies, which is amazing. And then the last step is some dark chopped chips. I'm not really going to measure this, I'm just kind of going to wing it, but I usually do like a handful. Sorry dentist. Alright, that will do and we're just going to mix that up and then we're just going to place that on a lined baking tray again for probably about 8, eight to 10 minutes, I think that's what it said. So let's do it. So while the biscuits are in the oven, I'm going to do my fourth half. I think I'm up to four. For this one, you're going to need some grapes. You're going to need a lime, and you're also going to and you're also going to need the same sweetener as before. So basically, I'm going to cut my lime in half and juice it. And then you're going to tip the lime juice over the grapes. Um, in Whitney's video that I watched, she like was individually dunking the grapes. But again, I am very lazy and hacks them into be like quick. So I'm just going to kind of sprinkle the sweetener over the top of the grapes and kind of pray that that works. <laughs> because ain't nobody got time to individually coat like 100 grapes. In my opinion. <laughs> so this one is meant to taste like Sour Patch Kids and if you guys know me, Sour Patch Kids are one of my favorite lollies ever. I just love any sort of sour lolly so I'm very excited to try this. But I'm going to just tip some of the lime juice on over the top. I'm not really sure how much, like I feel like one is a lot. I did like three quarters of it but I'll taste test it and see if I need more. And then as for the sugar, I'm going to use just like a tablespoon. Again, the thing with TikTok is there's no like actual measurements, so you kind of have to wing it sometimes. And then I'm going to stir that up. All right, and then in Whitney's video, she put them in the freezer, but then she said later on that, I don't know, she didn't really like it because they were frozen. And the other viral TikToks I've seen, they haven't frozen, they've just kind of ate them as is. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to taste test one now. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Not bad. 
I mean, mostly all I can taste is lime. That's good. If you're like really craving some sort of lolly, I would highly recommend that to be honest. Really good. And I have one more thing left. Let me check my cookies. Oh, I just checked the cookies and they're all like conjoined. They literally all melted together and my oven is smoking. So I might say that that's a fail, but we'll see. I'll let them cool down and see if I can shape them. But that may have failed. Anyway, the last pack is an Oreo mug cake. So I'm using these um, no sugar added sandwich twins. You can get these at Woolies. You might be able to get them from Coles as well, but otherwise just use any Oreo or any like cookie of choice. So I've got four here. So you're just going to pop the cookies in the bottom of the mug and tip some almond milk or milk of choice over the top. Again, no measurements. You kind of just got to wing these things. And then you have to crush it with a fork. And pop it in the microwave for... It just went everywhere. Pop it in the microwave for a minute. And apparently it's meant to turn into like a little like Oreo mug cake. I'm a little bit skeptical about this. I feel like, how is this going to work with no baking powder and no egg, no flour? Like, how is this going to work? But we will see. Alright, so I've got the Oreos and the milk all crushed up and I'm going to pop that in the microwave for one minute. The Oreo mug cake is done. It literally just looks like the most dense, if you can see that. My camera's not very good at focusing, so. Is that gonna be hot? Pretty good. It's kind of in the in between of like a pudding, like it's got like a a pudding consistency. It's not super flavoursome, but maybe it's because I use zero sugar <laughs> chocolate biscuits. But honestly, that's really good. If you had like a scoop of Halo Top or something on top of that, I would 100% eat this for dessert. Okay, so I've got the other things here and I'm going to taste test them as well. So I've got those little zucchini pizza bites. Mmm. They're so good. Wow, well, there goes half the water from the zucchini. How did I never think of doing this before? They literally taste like a mini pizza. If I was to rate them out of 10, I'd honestly probably give them like an 8.5 or 9. Like they're really good. I literally have nothing bad to say about them. Apart from the fact that like, obviously I would rather real pizza instead of zucchini, but otherwise that tastes really good. Now I'm going to try the buffalo thing and I'm very scared about this because I don't like spicy stuff. Mmm. That's good. It has, mm, it has a little bit of spice but I wouldn't say too much especially because I just like drizzle it all over the top. I'd say that's like a mild spice. Oh, but it's getting hotter. <sighs> okay. Mmm, that is so good. This would be really yum with like little chicken bites as well, like diced up chicken breast and do the exact same thing. I want to make that for dinner one night. I would rate this a 9 out of 10 as well, I'd say. As for the grapes, I'd probably rate them like a 7. They kind of just taste like grapes, but then they also kind of only taste like lime. Depends what which one you get, <laughs> but they don't really taste like lollies in my opinion, but they do have that kind of sour sweetness. I definitely still recommend them if you're craving like a lolly, but um, yeah, they're not like Sour Patch Kids, just saying. <laughs> this mug cake, I'd probably rate a 6 out of 10. Like I really like the consistency, that actually has shocked me, but... Yeah, it doesn't really have a lot of flavor. I reckon I would add like a cow powder and maybe like a maple syrup or something to make it sweeter. It's really good, but I just wouldn't wouldn't give it a 10. And I'll let you guys know how the cookies go later. They're still cooling down at the moment, but I'll leave it 
I'll leave it on the screen what I would rate them and how I thought they went. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little hack video. If there's anything else that you want to see me create, then please let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you very soon. Bye.